I mean, that guy does not have a clean shirt. This is our shirt. guy. That looks like a guy that's thrown a lot of rocks at a lot of gators. <laughs> I would have a beer with that guy, and I would help him open his. I mean, that guy. You'd got- have a beer with this guy, and you'd have 20 new minutes. <laughs> Stick around. Make a sound. There's more to people town. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. You know, a common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be right. But sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Yes. Therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether it's with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Just visit better, betterhelp.com slash DPT today to get 10% off your first month. That's Better H E L P dot com slash DPT. Ooh, I'm so excited today. We're sponsored by Good Shop. If you don't know who they are, Good Shop offers fully customizable boxes of high quality meat mm-hmm. and seafood delivered to your door on your schedule. Go to goodshop.com slash DPT120. Use the code DPT120 to get $120 off across your first four boxes. That's amazing. That's code DPT120 at goodshop.com slash DPT120 for $120 off. Goodshop.com slash DPT120. Code DPT120. <laughs> hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb, Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Burr. Bill Burr, That's welcome right. to the show. Welcome dude. to the show, Bill Burr. Born and raised. Born, Born and raised. raised. All right, so I want to ask you Born this. Born and raised. I wanna... Refreshingly. Okay, yes. so. Refreshingly dumb. Admittedly. Right. Dumb. Do you so let I me ask I you? I want to ask you two I questions. Huh? I don't buy that you're dumb or that you came from a dumb. I think that. I don't know. I disagree. You're disagreeing with my life experience? Yes. <laughs> I think it's, you, there's smart. What happens to a man when he gets horned rim glasses? <laughs> just <he> becomes <laughs> he just start knowing stuff. Yeah. Contrarian. Yeah, I start knowing right. shit. Yeah, I don't know talks, anything. Takes them off and talks. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 you know. I think it's fair to not want to give yourself too much credit, but I'm giving you more credit. All right. I We're, think you may have come from some stupid so Listen, I will tell you this. You want to put me in a bar? A little bit. You put me in a bar, I'm one of the smarter guys in there. Sure. But when you really look at like the you entire look. like people designing bridges yes. that trucks go yeah. over so of course. and they don't fall on people. We're not you, like that level of intelligence. Where'd you grow up? Uh, suburbs of Boston. I grew up North Shore and then South Shore mainly. Okay. Uh, Canton, Mass. And yeah, it was like sports and yeah, yeah, yeah. giving yeah. each other some time shit. In there wasn't a lot of. This uh, summer. There wasn't a lot of pursuing. Not the, a lot of geometry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. There was a lot of throwing <laughs> snowballs at cars. Yeah. <laughs> Off bridges. Yeah, so one of those fucking sneakers. <laughs> and it's just like, and you just, just ball breaking. Let's drive over that. Yeah. Which is not a great knock idea. around guys, as Club Soda Kenny says. Right, knock the star around. of the upcoming action movie Soda. Yeah, that's there right. I saw that. I had a buddy that just liked to go to overpasses and just throw shit country. off it. Yeah, paint. That car is going by. Oh, dude, you'd kill somebody doing that. Yeah. He would, he would just pour the paint. I was like, I'm not going with you, dude. Also, like, he invited you, me like three times. I go, no. Did you want to come with me to There was drop a deal paint kids out in the country would go steal stop signs. And it would, it caused accidents. They would just, I go, do you not, they're there for a reason, you fucking idiots. But this idiots. is fun for yeah. you. Yeah. No, but like that one, you caused like a fender bender, but the, uh. Paint over the but overpass. But like there was always somebody who thought it'd be funny to drop a rock and then they would kill somebody. They don't yes. understand like this is coming down. They're going 70. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the rock is this big. Do the you size think of their face. Do you think the world's getting dumber or it's just, we're at the same level and we just have more access to how dumb everybody is right now? Uh, both. Both. Both dumb people, uh, we have an unbelievable platform through yeah, podcasting. Well, yes. Thank you. To attract more dumb people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, what makes somebody dumb, I feel, is, is, uh, is the way you process information. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of people right now want, like, they gravitate towards what they want to hear rather than what is, makes sense. Oh, half, yeah. half if you don't fact. like it, if you don't like it, you can just avoid it. You just don't yeah. ever, yeah. If it doesn't fit with right. what you feel like. So I don't well, like anything. So I just, I don't you avoid watch all of it? anything. No, I no idea. One of my favorite bits of yours I saw you do, we were doing a show at the Whiskey. This is years ago. And it was the bit where you were like, everybody says, oh, these fucking kids with their peanut allergies and nothing. And, they come in and then you go, you know what? When we were 12, kids just died <laughs> and nobody knew why. Yeah. No, we just, they just yeah. died Their for no reason. We just up. thought, oh yeah, where'd Timmy go? He's not here anymore. He died yesterday. They figured out it was the fucking peanuts. We've always had this shit. That was my bit. You did it. It was at the whiskey. It was a Josh Adam Myers show. 
The whiskey? Yeah. Maybe it, was it, was, one, it was somewhere with the goddamn comedy jam. But it was. Okay, because I don't but think, I think I it was the whiskey. the whiskey. Maybe it was the Roxy? The Roxy. Wherever he used to do it on the Roxy. Sunset the Roxy. Strip. The Roxy. But that bit was so. You it did was it was the Viper Room and it was Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> what was my was, 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 was a bald redheaded guy. It was the no, Viper Room and it was River Phoenix. Because you did Working Man after that. And then. Working Man? Yeah, that song, the fucking Working Man Blues or whatever it is. You, you wore a wig. That was not me. Was it Andrew <laughs> Bill, Santino? It I'm just going to name all the redheads. Now, Andrew's a I know. I, 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 we know each Lee. other. All right, I have a story. Can I get into one of the stories? It's real. Do this? You yeah. never did a bit about peanut allergies? I no. love that Bill can't I even get God, right, you did. So. Go ahead. I, <laughs> First of all, he doesn't believe my childhood. You're telling me I'm doing material I don't do. I'm going like, to call like, Josh. I call no. him. Is this right. dumb people or uh, this uninformed? Is, it's uninformed. Both. We, Unin- we go on formal. half the facts. All right. Okay. Here's a story sent in by Derek, the legendary daddy. Uh, vampire dad. Thanks, Derek. This is the headline. Vampire dad. I'm injecting myself with the blood of my teenage son to keep me young. I'm on a mission to never get old. Dad, is that I think, real? I don't know. Wouldn't you try it once? You want to hear about this guy? I Wait, do. like a transfusion shit? That's like what, what he Kobe thinks. Used to do? Yes, this is dumb. I'm sorry. He's putting this is dumb. his a real vampire wouldn't be dumb enough to tweet that out. Right. Thank you. Or make it a story. Multi-millionaire Brian Johnson. I think he asked for that. Of ACDC? That's what I asked. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, but this is it. Does he say, make sure you put in, put in that I'm a multimillionaire. Put that in front Don't of me. Don't just put my name. Multimillionaire Brian Johnson is, Johnson is attempting to slow down the aging process through a series of bizarre blood transfusions. That's a little bit of both. He put it out that, that they were there, and then the journalist is like, ooh, people hate rich people. That's right, multimillionaire. We got to put it in there. This fucking Hollywood <laughs> celebrity eating placentas. <laughs> The blood of his children. I'm yeah. not going to tell you how old is it. We'll guess later. He's a tech mogul known for pumping millions of pounds a year. So I think this was written in England into treatments that he hopes will regain his youth. Johnson has previously received blood transfusions from healthy anonymous donors. I don't know if I'd take blood from someone I don't. Know. This also doesn't work. Yeah. It's, oh, you're just swapping out your blood. If you figured out a way to not die, you're wrong. You wouldn't be the one to fucking figure it right. out. He's not going to trial and error This is like when someone tells you like, oh, guy's... did you hear about Obama? I read on Facebook. And it's like, if that was real, mm-hmm. Facebook is not the way you would have found this out. Right. The New if England you think Journal this is going to keep you young, it isn't going to, you, you can't figure Look, it out. The guy's goal oriented. He's mm-hmm. made his millions and now he's taking on the ultimate opponent. Aging. Time. Aging. Yeah. Time. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, I Tom made. Tom Brady versus Tom. Right. I made now my he's money. He's picking it up where Tom Brady Left off. And LeBron James. LeBron James said I had a lot more in the tank. He's 30. Tom, I can't believe he's 39 it's years insane. old. That the is pic- insane. The pictures of Tom Brady as like when he just came out to like now, he looks younger now. Because now he has money. He didn't have money when he was I college. know. <laughs> it's like eating bad food. Yeah. He's not, no nutritionist. Hot pockets. But I, when you look at Kareem at like 38, he looked like. Cream at 38 looked like a fuck. broken. Yeah. <laughs> like a giant science yeah. teacher. <laughs> a broken. That was not going to give you the D minus. <laughs> right. You were going to summer school. You were. He was going to fucking make you work a for all stickler. of it. stickler. <laughs> you had those safety goggles on his right. whole fucking career. <laughs> You're like, uh, I'm sorry, are we doing experiments today? Oh, we're not. You're just wearing yeah. these. Okay, thanks a lot. But and all, all of that stuff, your, sur- your entire life you were surrounded by cigarette smoke. Yeah. That's how all those people look so much older. I know. I bet Kareem smoked. Uh, and now Kareem has to... Well, watch Maestro. Like, I couldn't believe, like, I, I think... Uh, um, what's his face? What the fuck's the guy's name? Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Like, he, he probably got throat cancer playing that part. Because he smoked so much during It was the unreal. Yeah. Dude, he was, like, literally exhaling in the other actor's face. And I'm just like, <laughs> they are committed to this time period. I mean, go back and look at a 40-year-old... A picture of 40-year-old Sparky Anderson. Like, or your dad at your age. Yeah. That's just yeah. Wars, like wars and cigarettes. 30 smoke. years older. Yeah. yeah. No, no. That's when you used to go sunbathing. You had like the aluminum foil. <laughs> just sit there. Like just not go in a tanning bed at all. baby oil on. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah you cook. fucking slow cooked yourself. That's right. Low it's and it. slow. You wrinkled Shit. it. Uh, all right. Well, now he's taking a drastic step of recruiting his how old son. And this is the kid's name, Talmadge. Is how old or is how old? Like he's a how werewolf. old? I'm gonna how have old? you guess. How old is the son that he's recruiting? Uh, Seventeen years old. Because you still have influence on him. First of all, he has to be a virgin, or this blood's not going to work. <laughs> Thank you. So that's what I always say, say at our meetings. Yeah, he's an overbearing father. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I I like uh, you know if I'm trying to live forever, I'm not going higher than fifteen. 
15. Okay. 15. He what doesn't mean? have a license yet. If he had yeah. a license, he could drive away. He would drive away from family. He could drive out of the issue. Right. Yeah. I'm going to go, the kid is 22. Oh, shit. And this is how he justifies giving the kid whatever he wants. This like, is this how you is get your job. inheritance. This you is do his this job. Me, yeah, he I do it back. Kid does he nothing. He's a fuck off. He doesn't have to say the inheritance. Yeah, he's a he fuck off. It over and the guy's like, okay, fine. I'll give you, an, you know, I'll pay for your condo. One of you is exactly right. I mean, this Whoa, is like, shit, really? So this is like the Wait, what, what were the numbers? Him. He said 15, 15 17, 17, So now let's pay who do we think is exactly right. I'm sticking with myself. I'm going to stick with myself. All right, get your answers in. This kid was 17 years old. Oh, ah, well done, uh, Randy. All right. The process. And you know what? I blame him. Yeah, I, right? You could drive out as agency. But kids today in their after older than 16 don't want to drive. So I bet this kid doesn't even have a license. Here's one for you. If you're 17 and you haven't had a fist fight with your dad yet, you're never going to. You're never going to. That's gonna. it. <laughs> no, because in, you, there's a small window where you're young enough but old enough and he's still young enough that if you hit him, you don't feel bad. Right. But by the time you're 21, you're like, I can't hit this guy. I can't guy. hit this he's guy. He's a did, guy. Did you, any of you, this doesn't apply to me. Did any of you Dan's ever. Dan's father left early. Yeah, yeah. 10 months old, we tried to, I tried to have a fist fight with him. <laughs> did any of you ever try to fight your dad? I mean, we're stand-up comedians. I, I mean, we did f- it. We fought each other. We yeah, fought. We, mine fought. wasn't around. Like, I didn't. We no. had a fist fight as adults in a cab after a comedy set. You got a fist fight in a cab? In, in a, a cab, cab after a comedy set. In New set. York. In New York, as it was driving through Central Park, the guy needed the fare because he needed to make his medallion. And he, he got pulled so over, mad, he pulled over like, in Central Park and let us out. You got to get out. So like, get the fuck out of my cab. Who won? Who won? Neither we, of us. Because we fight... We would fight in a way where neither of us would win. It was no very, face shots. You no guys no face that. shots, but just a lot of punching until we got tired. And then it was now here's like, the thing. If one of you managed the other, you definitely would have gone for the face. But I feel like you both knew you had something. To yeah, do. yeah, yeah. They got to oh, do this. Like right. lack of it's like mutually assured. Destruction. How old were you when you tried to fight your dad? I never said I tried to fight my dad. You just said we're all yeah. comics. Yeah, yeah. Well, that wasn't that enough for you. I'm not getting involved in that shit. <laughs> I'm not no. fucking, I mean, Jesus At Christ, 17, you are, were you afraid of your dad? I mean, your dad is obviously no. depicted to, no. You weren't afraid of your dad. No. Right. I mean, so that, this 17-year-old is doing what his dad says. I wanted says. to murder my dad by the time I was eight. Right, but your, <clears throat> pl- but your, your plans as an eight-year-old are a little different than That's when right. you're 17. You're not giving him your blood. Uh, this is it. The process sees each participant having a liter of their blood removed. A liter. That's a lot of fucking blood. Two-liter bottle of soda is what, this? Yeah. A liter mm-hmm. of your blood. Uh, I'll tell you, this guy has his wife in line, man. Right. Because she's not way. sticking up for the kid at all. Oh, she's yeah. gone. He she's definitely gone. has all the sports packages. Hang on a second. Did you say multi-billionaire? This guy has his second, second wife, wife in, in line. line. Okay. Removed and converted into parts via a high-tech machine. They don't okay. say what it is. The blood is split into liquid plasma, red blood cells, and white blood cells and platelets. It is then injected into Mr. Johnson's veins where he hopes it will rejuvenate. This is all a hope. He doesn't know and repair his own blood. What's the science behind it? So well, he's we basically to... Kobe, but cheap. Right. right. He yes. doesn't want to pay for it to spin the platelets. So he fucking harvests his own kid. He's harvesting his own kid. He's got hey, a blood boy. Well, you know what? I mean, back in the day, you had a bunch of kids, not because you loved them. It's because you needed help on the farm. That's right. Now it's this just is, he's repeating the evolution of that. Mm-hmm. The American tycoon, they're calling him a tycoon, has also recruited his dad, Richard, who's how old? How old is this dude's dad? Mm. So he's got a 17-year-old he's kid. Got a 17-year-old kid, so he's probably 57. His dad's 81. His dad's 77. Yeah. Um, he's probably looking at his dad like, wow, my dad's going to die at some point. Let me get his blood. Let me get some of that blood. Just can't finish a sentence with this fucking guy. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> he must have loved Maestro the way they all talked over each other. <laughs> I didn't see it um, yet. I loved the movie. I loved them. I'm a sports guy, and I watched it, and I fucking loved it. It was mm-hmm. amazing. Um, I'm going to say he's 87. He is 70 years old. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, he, he had him join in the tri-generational blood product exchange. So he wants from his dad, too? Yeah. He donated a liter of his blood to Richard. I guess he's trying to help him. No, he's paying all their rent, so they just have to do what he fucking says. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. He took to Instagram to document the bizarre process. Of course, he wrote, my son, father, and I completed the world's first multi-generational plasma. This is just to get likes. I feel like. Clicks. He's bored. He's bored. You're either doing this or you're going to see the fucking Titanic. He now Titanic. has a team of more than 30 this doctors is... and regenerative health experts managing his intense routine. In a I mean, you have to put body. multimillionaire at the front of it because you're like, oh, these are all the people around him who are like, yeah, you should. He's like, I'm going to just start 
get in my son's blood. Yeah, right. do it. He aims Great to, idea. this is a biotech entrepreneur aims to have all 78 of his major organs functioning as if he were in his late teens. Multi-millionaire is like a law and order credit to rich people. Right. Like they don't risk multi-millionaire. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to me when there's a B. Put what B is a multimillionaire? Six million? That's it's multi. Two. Two is two multi. Is multi. Two so is multi. I, I've always wanted to reboot the million dollar man. Six million dollars. Six million dollar man. Six million dollar man. And all six million dollars pays for in this day and age is like a knee replacement. So he's got a bionic knee. He That's it. He he's got the knee. And he still has to fight crime. And he still has to fight oh, crime. This is the thing. This is the thing. Like they want to get today's version of six million dollars but they're negotiating with the streaming service yes and they go like a spotify like we just don't have the money right, right now so i'm sorry it's just you're just gonna have to do it yourself and it's not a team of doctors it's just, just you it's just you and you gotta like, roll. what about that guy in back to future you can't make a man in your garage Doc no. Brown. Listen, this no. will be great exposure. <laughs> this is it. This is it. All right. You're going to get a lot I, of likes. I like, I like bionic hip. Yeah. Bionic hip. And then he becomes a field goal kicker. <laughs> and they try to like, they try to take his NFL salary <laughs> to, then, to, to, to then buy another hip. And then he just keeps getting, then all of a sudden now he's a wide receiver because he's got the two, two sort of legs and he just sort of keep. Well, he's got good hips. So he could be like a cornerback, a deep cornerback. So he can he's swivel. Good he swivel. Can swivel. Somewhere in it, he falls in love and he takes his eye off the ball. That's it. It's called taking your eye off the ball. It's called bionic hip. No, he, he fucking reverse emigrates. The Russians get in his ear. Uh-huh. <laughs> And instead of like them coming instead of, instead of Moscow on the Hudson, it's, the, it's Hudson, Hudson on, on the, the Moscow <laughs> with Lee Majors. And his name is Steve Hudson. Uh, yeah, yes. Steve Hudson. Yes. I, like that. <laughs> I love this. Come on. We're doing this. All right. Uh, anyway, Oliver Zolman, a doctor heading up the team hired by Johnson, said they aim to prove. He identifies as Russian. So you get the progressive people. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> He's identified as Russian. Prove a human being can reduce the medical age of their organs by 25%. This guy. Is this, this doctor, still going? Still going. Oh, my God. To, all right. How old is this guy? We'll end it on this. How old is this joker? Brian Johnson. He's not dead 70. His kid's 17. And he's trying to save his life. He feels like his life his is dad, over. I think his dad was a young dad. Okay. And then he had a kid later in life because mm -hmm. he, was, he was like, you know, my dad didn't have shit. And I'm going to fucking make it in business. And then someday I'll take both of their blood. I'm going to say that this guy, <laughs> <laughs> this guy had a kid around 39. His kid's 17. I'll say 56. 56? Wow. That's his dad had when he was 14? No. No, no, 70. no. Seven, I'm saying, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. good point. 14. You know, when he was oh. 14. No, we probably had him at 22. Good yeah. point. So 48. So 48. Contestant Row helping out the <laughs> oh, other person. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That one dollar on that <laughs> no, one. No, no, no. Uh, all right. All right. 20, I say you had him at 22. He's 48. 48. Okay. Daniel? I'm going to say he's 50. I think he's 45. One of you is exactly Yes. Right. Okay. You, did you get it last time? I know. I got it last time, but oh, I don't know. Man. You okay, can stay right. with you? 50. I'm staying with myself. I'm oh, yeah. staying with me. 45 years old. Yes. Again, Randy, you too. Right. Oh, wait. You guys put together. No. Fixed like the NFL. <laughs> it is like. Fucking <laughs> bullshit. Fucking the Chiefs. What is Patrick Mahomes produced it? <laughs> so, I love how whoever's winning, it's just all, it's automatically fixed. Rigged. Like, all, all I heard that. the whole time, the Patriots are winning. It's fucking rigged. rigged. Goodell loves. Da -da -da, as we get suspended for fucking nothing and lose draft picks. And now it's just Patrick Mahomes. Da -da -da, da -da. They want Taylor Swift. They want Taylor Swift. They want Taylor the Swift who's going to bring in a new audience it's like come on no yeah, and like, i love because roger goodell bear hugs a guy in the chiefs they're like you can see it's right there it's like if i'm fixing game, give roger goodell a little bit of credit if you're fixing the game mm -hmm. you don't walk up and bear hug one of the chiefs <laughs> no, in front of everybody no no he's and, managed to skirt but the internet is he's managed 100%. to skirt uh responsibility for player concussions he's not that dumb to make that mistake. I'll tell someone. you, if there's anybody out there that needs to be taking his kid's blood, it's that guy. That guy is, he's aging like a fucking he is old aging. person, like a, the old school guy. He looks yeah. like a, yeah, he looks like a. Well, when he starts, he looks bloated. He looks like John Madden when he was a coach in the 1970s. He was probably like 26 years old. And, and he, he looked was like, like he was 30. Right. He looked like he was. Kenny State, look at old pictures of Kenny Stabler. He's like 30 years old and he looks like. Like Kenny Rogers, right before Kenny Rogers, the singer died. Yeah. He's like Incredible the incredible book, the Stabler. Stabler. Oh. The is snake. there a book about his life? Yeah, snake bit. Oh. Is it called Snake bit? Uh, what is it? I forget. Something like that. Written by Dave Casper. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. He talks about fucking. 
being, you know, loved like boats and shit, being on the Redneck Riviera, which was the Gulf of Mexico. Right, Gulf of Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. And talking about having a, you know, you'd have your girlfriend on the land and your fucking other chick out there, just openly admitting all of this. It was just like, you know, there's a cover of uh, People magazine with a shirtless Telly Savalas with gold chains. And the quote is, of course my womanizing bothers my wife. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's, I mean, it, somebody sent it to me. Like maybe it's, somebody photoshopped maybe someone it. Photoshopped no, it. no, no but, you uh, see him in like the old battle of the network stars and like people are afraid to talk to him. That he had connections to. Well, he, wasn't he Turkish? Is he Turkish? Yeah, he's got yeah, like Greek. some sort of Greek? A Greek. Savalis. Yeah. It's like a connection to the Greek mafia. And St- uh, Stavos, the guy on the show, yeah. was actually his brother, and he kept his hair. He had the full head of hair. And then, of course, you had Bobby Crocker, who just passed away. I live in the past. Did, did he <laughs> say, but have you got his albums? Like, he sang. Yeah, Telly Savalas had yeah. albums. Albums. You never close your eyes anymore <laughs> when I kiss your lips. Singing is... And he goes... Bit. Baby, <laughs> and they just takes they a just, drag. They, no, they just cranked up the reverb. <laughs> I love it. All right, you're that's trying so hard not to show it. He sort of talk, right. talk baby. croons, yeah, talk baby. sings, yeah. talk sings. Yeah, it was like Shatner. All right, let's take a break. Uh, Bill Burr is with us. The great Bill Burr. We'll be back with more dumb people town. Dan's got a story. Uh, we'll be right back. Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Hey, gang, welcome back to the show. Bill Burr is with us. We should let people know we have... What are you doing, Sklars? Yeah, coming up. Go ahead. Uh, We're going to be... I don't know when this drops. We're going to be in Denver at Comedy Works South Club, which I love. This uh, first weekend of February. It's going to be past this. We'll be in Detroit at uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle, the first place we ever got paid. Detroit's not going to exist. You're going to be in Cleveland? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're just going to move forward. We're going to help you get past what just happened, Detroit. (laughs) Yeah. First week in March. Then Minneapolis in uh, in April, and then the Moon Tower Comedy Festival at the end of April and then uh, we're going to be in Salt Lake City in May supersclass.com check all that out uh, Bill fucking Amish huh Please. yeah <laughs> come on let's go Mormon so wait so are you what do you have coming on I know you're on tour coming up this spring when is this coming out this might drop weeks. in the next, next couple, couple weeks. weeks all right I got something in like the weekend after the Super Bowl I'm in like Palm Desert nice and uh, everything's on Bill Burr Dot com B U R R, and uh, I'm getting back out there again, and uh, you know, I'm excited to get out. I stayed home a little too long on this break. Did you? Yeah, the depression is coming on, so I need so to. Yeah, like, I gotta I get back to, out I there. Get and, back, yeah, the fog okay. is catching. The up fog is catching. Yes. The fog yes. is catching up. Are yes. you now? Does your wife like you? Got to get out on the road. You got to get out there. Does she no. know, or does she doesn't understand? She's like, no, I communicate with her. She'll be looking at me. She, what's going on with you? And I'll be like, I'm sad. And she's just like, why? And I go, because of all this shit I've told you. Over the years. She's like, well, I thought you dealt with that in therapy. It's like, yeah, I did, but it still happens. It's still there. Still, yeah, it's just, you don't ever get past all the bullshit. So you're just aware of it. Yeah. So that's why I have all these, you know, you know, somebody, you know, I don't, it's just, that's, I don't know what, if you just fucking, if you sit around long enough and think about everything that happened to you, it's, mm-hmm. that's not a good scene. No. So it's better to be out there, be like, when's my flight? And just ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you have the just, stuff that you're doing. Yeah. And I also kind of feel that I, I kind of need to do stand. I need to make people laugh. It makes me feel good. And I, mm-hmm. I can kind of, yeah. you know, go to the gym, put on the leg warmers, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do yeah. Like yeah. Fucking, you know, yeah. get the blood going. And if I don't do that, then uh, I just turn into a puddle. Yeah, I got you. No, I believe I've, I've had stand-up nights where my back was out before we got on stage. <laughs> And then when we got on stage and started performing, I'm like, I feel fine. And here's the thing, dude. If you make a testimonial and do that on Instagram, people will start doing stand-up to help their backs. I'm not doing that. But yes, that would I'm be gonna, great. In the next 20 minutes, <laughs> I will give you the secret uh-huh. yeah. to how you can fix your back. Chiropractors out of business. <laughs> you gotta it's go. It's true though. But I get out there and we're in this thing, and then we're in this because you're not moment the about baby. what you're doing. Adrenaline and the connection, and I'm like, oh shit, I don't even feel it anymore. And then Maybe I come you off did stage. Did an act out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I love is when people show you new ways to crack their back and they just throw these sound effects in. Yeah. It's like, you're going to get somebody hurt. <laughs> yeah, this you is the way. Hook this... him behind me. You go on my back. I'll go forward. And every, both of us jump at the yeah, same it's time. Bad. It's bad. Knee pain. All of these people with no. And then when a doctor chimes in <laughs> and says like, no, you don't want to do this. And all the morons just like, a lot of doctors getting in their feelings yeah. in this fucking chat. <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of people with credentials <laughs> fucking really getting nervous. Like, they're going to go out of business. It's right. like, no, dude, I'm just going to see you guys in my office. Right. right. I'm actually fucking myself out of money by letting right. you know that you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> A lot of Harvard grads getting in their feelings in it. <laughs> Coastal elites <laughs> can't handle it. Got a lot it. to say. Oh Are you guys God. ready for story two? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Okay, this is sent by Matthew Friedman at not your average Matt AVG mm -hmm. on that average. Here's the headline. Florida man speaks for the first time after arm was bitten by alligator. So in Florida, they were waiting for a long time. Here. Like issued a statement mm -hmm. or he was just not yes. even talking. <laughs> That'll yes. shut him up. In hindsight, Eric, <laughs> shut anybody up. Yeah. Eric Murda says he probably should not have treaded into the waters of Lake Manatee for a swim. If you're in Florida, don't go and do any fucking I mean, water. don't you? I've seen a, I've seen an alligator like on the side. Oh, of, in the ditch. Yeah. In the ditch. Yes. It's filled with water. Like don't go anywhere. The They're Florida surprisingly fast on land too. Yeah. You ever see the at golfers? my age, I don't think I could outrun one. You see no. golfers no. trying no. to hit exactly. a shot that's fallen near an alligator? I'm like, you don't need that doing, shot. Dude. What are you doing? That's when you grab the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself a pair of shoes and a fucking penalty drop. <laughs> a purse. The Florida man came face to face with the alligator who clamped onto his arm and wouldn't let go. Yeah, say goodbye yeah. to your arm, dude. Murdo was stuck in the swamp after the attack, losing his arm in the process for how many days? Days. days how many days do you think he was 127 hours in this? Dude, that's a main artery if you cut that off you slit your wrist you bleed to death there's mm -hmm. no there's no days there's fucking you have like 20 minutes i would think you'd be bleeding i think he's no he, days but it's uh, no days i say oh two. unless you know he's a florida man he took his fucking belt off <laughs> yeah. and he tied, he tied it, it, off. it up he right. tied it off <laughs> right he tourniqueted that shit yeah, maybe he did some self. Um, I mean, what was the what was it? A snack? He didn't come back to finish him off. We're gonna say it. Is this also whether this is true or not? Is this definitely true or one hundred percent true? One hundred percent true. Is that fucking guy gonna do a sequel to the kid in the canyon who cut his fucking arm off? Exactly, one hundred twenty-seven hours. hours. Oh, Jesus. All right, how many hours is that? How many days is that? One hundred twenty-seven hours. hours. Oh God. God. Go 48 five. is two. It's like five hours. Five hours. 80, 96, no, five days. 96 five days. is five four. Days. Five days. Well, I didn't hear it's anybody saying days. this guy beat that record. So I'm going to say it's, it's under 172. <laughs> and Hollywood hasn't made a movie about it. Right. So it's just like, well, what's exciting about that? We already saw a guy go 172 hours. And he cut his own arm off. So like, I'm going to say he, he was in there. <laughs> You can go like three days without water. Is that fresh water where he could sure. drink it? Like, yeah. well, first of all, what is the fucking problem? It's yeah. a swamp. It's a swamp. So how is he stuck in there? Yeah. Like, yeah how can he? Why wouldn't he leave? Dude, that why wouldn't he get out? He didn't cut his legs off. <laughs> it's not like he's hiding in there from the alligator. I would get out of the place what where I was with? attacked. Two days. Two? Four days. Four? I mean, I think he gets bit and he <laughs> ties it off and he walks out. <laughs> he didn't. He stayed. This is part of why. So you're going to go three or five. And all he did was have his arm. I'm going to tell so you. So he was like in shock. <laughs> yeah, he probably was in shock. It's, just, it's too you fucking You know how like once you get I'll your arm. one day. He was stuck in the swamp after the attack for three days. Wow. Which dude. you said at one point, Bill Burr. He's trying to sell a book. <laughs> Two months after the attack, Murda spoke of the incident telling 10 Tampa Bay it was not the smartest decision a Florida boy could make. Which he is said saying that? a lot. He thinks he's like a tall tale. Murder described the attack as saying, I look over and there's a gator at my right hand side. So I went to swim and she got my forearm. Whoa, 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 whoa. You went to swim. If you're not swimming away from the gator, why are you going into swimming? I think he, he probably went. dove to get out of the way. So what happened? So I grabbed her like this. She was trying to roll, but she but she snapped her head. So my arm went backwards like this completely. Love this article person who provides no yes. perspective. Yeah. <laughs> the alligator dragged Murda underwater three times. She already got my arm. So when she came up the third time, she finally did her death roll and took off with my arm. Okay. How does he know it's a she? Murda spent three days trying to figure his way out of the swamp, going back to the point where he jumped in the water. Oh, so he got lost. Oh, he's in a swamp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want a swamp. I thought he's just like a fucking pond. No, no, he's. Oh, no. so this guy went way the fuck out. Yeah. He's what was looking he? for drugs. 
Is his girlfriend missing? <laughs> yeah. from, I was tired from, his, from digging the hole. <laughs> from I was trying to swim. Yeah. That's my girlfriend oh, grave digging arm. He was in the fucking swamp. <laughs> Dead or alive, she's not answering when he calls. Right. That's yeah. safe to say. Yeah. They're over. Oh, yeah, they're man. done. That, who goes swimming in a, in a fucking swamp? swamp? Somebody, somebody who grew up out there because there's snakes. There's all kinds of shit. That guy was a nature guy. Right. And not good at, not good at it. No, he was. I say he was, and then he just got unlucky that night. I would say that he knew the swamp well enough to go in there. You don't just, that's not just something you do. Or Did you're the, uh, high. I think he grew up out there, and then. That's no. how you're, if he's like, he this is how careless. I will die. I want to die it's doing like something. The, I think the grizzly uh, man. Right. It's he like jumped the jumped in the swamp enough times and never lost his fucking right. arm, and then this time it happened. You Some guys eat. go into bars wanting to get the shit kicked out of them. Some people get in swamps wanting, wanting to, to get have their, their arm ripped, ripped off. off. Yeah. I think it's a little I bit of that. He, he, he lost like uh, what the fear we have when we go to Florida is anybody water you as a gator and you have to think that he right. probably after a while is like well it's not an every fucking yeah. right it I is know. hot out here <laughs> get, not, get the skiers <laughs> off me <laughs> oh shit it's like not in every not in every swamp there's no see I think there at is some a point, gator in every swamp I would argue that that probably I, I without knowing like, that the Starbucks of Florida right yes. this is. This is yeah. where you go to find gators who want to rip your arm off. You're giving them food. I think at some point he said to himself, I know I hid it around here somewhere. Gold or something. Whatever, like whatever it he is, thinks. that's yeah. what he's out Bars there of for. gold. I got to go find it. It might yeah. be the, the song that uh, What's-His-Face was singing about. Charlie Daniels. Devil went down to Georgia? No, was it, everyone knows that one. Long-haired redneck? No, it's that one where the, the fucking guy uh, was burying the gold out there. and the, Oh, yeah, just money in the mason jars and then the guys went out to go get it and they beat him up and they thought they killed him and then like he somehow comes back and fucking feeds him he's like a, to the gators like, sell this sell funny. this movie i never heard i never it's heard his this greatest song. hits well it's everybody just, likes devil went down to georgia it's really uh leave this long-haired country boy alone is the best one long-haired redneck is my favorite one. yeah i i know the country boy one redneck's getting i get me. drunk in the morning get stoned in the <laughs> afternoon mm -hmm. da -da. I ain't, I ain't asking nobody for nothing. So why do I can't get it on my own? Chicken bone, chicken bone. How come he didn't Long do the country Monday bowl. night football theme huh? song? Yeah, Charlie Daniels should, should have done the Monday night football. I, I agree. Because he was chill. He was kind of chill. And you needed Hank to fucking get it going. He was aggressive. To he was rowdy. mad that he couldn't do what his dad did. He had to have a different persona. No, than that's his dad. bullshit. He had a different persona Hank than Williams his dad. Hank Williams Jr. fucking crushed it. And you know what I love about him now? He's fucking retired. He doesn't have to go on the road anymore. That's he, what I wish for every boy person. Can't survive. Keep your fucking money, and then there's just one day is the last day you're going to LAX, dude. Hank Williams Jr. fucking crushed it. So his, so did his dad. No, he and, didn't. He died at 29. He was a complete fucking failure as a father. Hank Williams he was a failure as a father. A father. Goddamn orphan. He was a failure as a father, but he was a brilliant Drinker. musician. And musician and, and, and singer. He influenced country music more than his I got to tell you something. I go back and listen to his old shit. I don't hear it. I, I, I prefer his son. Mm. You prefer his son? Well, that's closer for me, Tampa too. Fucking Tampa Bay and Cincinnati are playing. I mean, I, that's something I can relate <laughs> to. That's some talk See, That's some to. Telly Savalas talk Country scene. Boy Can't Survive no, no. is no, all fucking, time. No, he, he, he has some early hits in the 70s yeah, that everybody sleeps on. <laughs> See, all of us fucking coastal people learned of him on Monday Night F Football. But that guy, <laughs> he, I, he was living the life. He was living the life, but he had to create a persona that was different than his dad's. That was his either. Why are you, why are you talking like say you're in the industry? Because I, because I, you hear who These his are, dad huge was. Huge music nerds. He, you hear who you his dad was. You are dressed like you have a tennis court on your property. <laughs> God, I wish you did. Fuck, I I looks like I a did. Romanian women's gymnastics coach from 1987 who pushed the girls a little too hard. You want to be a champion? You fucking work. Fine. You work if you want to be a champion. Murder spent three days trying to figure his way out of the swamp, going back to where he jumped in the water. Should have started there, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Finally, he stumbled on a fence with a man on the other side. He yelled at the guy. I said, a gator What's got my arm. What's missing from this picture? <laughs> <laughs> a gator got my arm. The guy on the other fence yelled back, holy smokes, man. <laughs> Who has one thumb and just got it? The first thing yeah. that Murda said he wanted was water. And then he was on a stretcher headed to the Sarasota Memorial Hospital where surgeons amputated the majority of his right arm. Now he's so, a yeah. deaf leopard cover, man. <laughs> and the surgeons were like, another Jeez. one? Here we go. Murda says he's getting you used to it. That's still like too that. soon. You didn't want to like that. I love Rick Allen. Still I know, but something soon. came up inside of you and you were like, yeah. 
Murda says he's getting used to the new normal and now has a, a new perspective job. and wants to warn others to be more cautious around Florida waters. I love when people do dumb shit and then like they can't get out of their own ego that they're the fucking yeah. idiot. Let me, right. let me, tell let you me guys. just tell you what you don't want to do. <laughs> is go swimming in the swamp. I'm now an advocate. Period. I'm now an advocate for awareness. <laughs> hey, where's your girlfriend? I'm telling you, don't yeah, go swimming. A lot of people. <laughs> oh, he go. <laughs> they think you can go swimming in a swamp. You know, I was watching a podcast like talking about like bear attacks and shit. They and they're going like, you know, a lot of people don't think bears are fucking dangerous. Yes, they do. They yes. Are. yes, they do. Stop judging all of humanity no. on one fucking idiot. Bill, in Yellowstone. final line. Huh? He does exactly what you're saying. Final line is exactly what you're saying. All right, here's one for all y'all out there. <laughs> do not feed the gators. And you guys know who you are. <laughs> Throwing rocks at them. I've seen it on job sites. Leave them gators alone. <laughs> You know he what was great? Does he was wagging his one good finger at everybody. Right. He's, he's like, like oh, no, he's going stump. Listen to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, look, and I don't even blame the gator. I don't, I don't even blame, blame the gator. He literally said, you guys know who you are. Yeah. Which so, means he's talking to his own friends. A he's lecturing. Group of he's people. lecturing. That is, uh, you ever read up on the dark triad? No. 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 Never even heard of it. The dark that? triad is it's the triangle of narcissism psychopath and I forget what the last is and its characteristics and one of the things he has a little bit of that he has one side of the triangle down mm -hmm. where he has the narcissism of <laughs> he can't take responsibility for his own fucking actions mm -hmm. and then to then then somehow in it he becomes like I, I'm the like I remember one time seeing somebody who did something racist got called out for doing something racist and by the end of the apology was giving everyone else a lecture on how not to be racist. Yep. It was fucking magnificent. That's that an unbelievable it was fucking turnaround. Magnificent, and nobody, <laughs> because the message was anti-racist. No one was going like, well, you "Hey, gonna why argue with him? are you? <laughs> right, are you talking? Are you? Do you think you're? Is, is there a bi big mirror in front of the? <laughs> this why, why, why am I getting a fucking lecture? You're the one who did it. <laughs> this is why you I, I can't make those types of comments. The dark uh -oh. triad. I mean, that guy does not have a clean shirt. This is our shirt. guy. That looks like a guy that's thrown a lot of rocks at a lot of gators. <laughs> He's thrown a lot of rocks at a lot of things. Houses. But I would tell you right now. Yes. Beer. Ex-wives. I would have a beer with that guy, and I would help him open his. I mean, that guy. You'd have a beer with this guy, and you'd have 20 new minutes. <laughs> no, I love I, I, I've, I've met a guy like that. Me and my wife took a fan boat. Uh, ride, yeah, and it was he had this fucking amazing accent. We we were, like, wasn't our guy. His his fucking fan boat had had conked out. And it was the first time I heard this this expression. He was smoking a cigarette, mm -hmm. and there's all these scared tourists on it, and he's fucking chilling. And the guy pulls up me and goes, "What's going on?" He's like, bah, 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 bah. "It's like talking right." <laughs> and then at some point, he was the guy made fun of his busted boat, and he just go, "Well, it won't go, chrome it." And I chrome never it, heard that. It, it chrome? won't go chrome it. That's Meaning. like it's this piece of shit car. You throw fucking rims on it and some yeah. asshole will come and buy it. That's right. He's like, I believe. That's how I took it. Ah. I remember he did that. And I looked at my wife and she broke out in this giant <laughs> grin because we love like hearing accents and stuff. Like, right. Which for right. some reason are going away, which yes. is horrible. Yes. But we went to uh, we went to Mammoth recently and um, these fucking two kids were in the back like the California kids going oh bro i was on the fucking day and i fucking heard this guy's leg just fucking snap dude i was like fuck and it's just like and i turn around look at my wife she's just cracking she up. loves and no but we're just sitting there going like this is why we came here right i don't want to fucking come up here and meet other people from los angeles who fucking I, like you know you uh, want to hear the accent yeah i agree which is why i would never go on a cruise it's so fucking stupid. It's I would like never either, you're going no. to like experience another country and you're sitting there in a bar pool with some guy from Cleveland. It's like, right. I could have fucking just gone to Cleveland. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> All right, friends, we'll get out of here on this. How old? Oh, dude, that's his nice shirt. Is I Eric Martin. This is his senior photo. And glasses, cool. by the way. How old is First Eric? First of all, we've made fun of this guy. This guy's a fucking badass. He's amazing. Yeah, I can tell you right now. Is he, a he jumped into a fucking swamp. No, no, he survived. survived. But he's an idiot for doing it. That doesn't make him a... Listen, he's a dude, moron. Don't dude, go... Dude, I remember fucking riding on the front of a... On the hood of a car, waving to oncoming traffic. And how would you describe yourself at that time in your life? A I fucking know. moron. Me yeah. too. I've done... I know, but like overall... <laughs> <laughs> At yeah, this point. Well, he well, he's be, still in this chapter. He's an adult, though. <laughs> oh, you're right. Well, he's past it. Yeah, he became an advocate he's for not it. throwing rocks. There's something rocks. about him. There's, there's something that smile. He still has a lot of life. 
And I would be and fucking love. depressed. And, and I would be being a sad sack and I all mean, of that. I mean, he's got the best story at every bar. He could still play slow pitch softball. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's one of the few people at his age you want to wear vertical stripes to add weight. <laughs> so maybe it looks like you haven't lost a limb. <laughs> how old? Why are we roasting this guy? I don't, I don't know. know. I you were him. loving how him. How old is that guy? Yeah. He's fucking 43. <laughs> okay. Florida, 43. 37. 37. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I almost said that. 51 years old. One of you. He looks so good. He's exactly. <laughs> We're killing this, me. by the way. By the way, get If it. this is you, I'm walking uh, out. I'm walking out of this. One of you looked at this man and knew exactly how many it's turns he's done. He doesn't have say, any wrinkles, I'm and he's in Florida. Okay. 30, I, say, I say 37. I'm going to stick with mine. 51. The answer is 43 years old. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself. You had him. Dude. I did. Oh. I've done Florida enough times. I know what I'm like. That's a chain smoking <laughs> Floridian. That's a grandfather. You know, they never, That's a never, grandfather. At now yeah. predict how many more years he has left on this. Earth. <laughs> Oh, that guy! That guy's gonna. He's, Eric Murda. Uh, Eric Murda. Dude, I, uh, that guy. He's got. He's goes through changes. How many teeth does he he's have? Goes through like changes. Him. That's just not a good picture. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, just, yeah. They caught him in between. In a bad side. <laughs> exactly. That's a digital. It's not his headshot. Let's oh. just say that. It's right, not his. All right, that's story number two, friends. All right, Ryan, you're up. Let me grab this for you. Hold on. Have you ever had an episode where somebody was right every one? I mean, this is pretty amazing. Uh, Kevin, Pollock Kevin Pollock got, Pollock got him right. He went every two for three. Dialogue. And like, right. Oh, you were just off. saying one guess. I just meant that somebody of the four. Yeah. So Kevin Pollack got the first two right on the nose. Story one and story two. He guessed and then the, the third first. one, he was uh, yeah. closest, but didn't get it right. Yeah. But right, that was insane. Ready. All right. We'll take a break. Price is right. Yeah. That's right. could somehow take that skill and do it to appliances. I mean, <laughs> he'd, he'd fucking he'd be $7. Well, so there was. There was I saw a documentary about a guy who, like, gamed the system yeah, on the prices he right. He figured out. He, he went just to, like, did all this guys. research about the pricing. No, of, he didn't. He just fucking was educated. And in the end, yeah. they thought that he, he, he yeah. had cheated. So Drew Carey's like, yeah, he went both and gave him a bad fucking thing. Like, they gave him misinformation. Then it turned out he was actually right. Oh, yeah. He was that a was beast. Good. That yeah, guy. Jordan guy. showed up and they couldn't handle it. That's the, right. Remember the press your luck guy? You ever see that documentary? <laughs> the dude who figured out the pattern to press your luck and he just never got a whammy and took them for truck driver. everything. Was a truck driver? Maybe right? I don't uh, remember. Good yeah. stuff. All right, let's take a break. Dude, we'll come that back. That is no, but like, we can't take Go. a break on that. That's uh, fucking amazing. Yeah, he like, figured see, out the I could exact never, pattern. I could never do that. Like to just sit there and just uh, like to break it down like that. That but is, those are the guy, like the guy from King of Kong. The, the donkey con like you have to have a brain to understand the pattern of video games yeah. and you understand where things are coming it's like Miss Pac-Man do exactly the step timing. outside mm. the matrix mm. he just, just, he, he's in the matrix and outside mm -hmm. at the same time he, that's, no, I mean, that's so amazing. what did they have to do to the guy just be like listen dude you, yeah, they, you, they, they, you can't play anymore how long was he on for I think he did like didn't he do like 15 shows or something like that because he just kept going he knew exactly when to hit the thing and he would just never get a whammy how about the people in the show were too stupid to just fucking rig it after three days? Yeah, right. just like fuck change, change the buzzer pattern. up or something. Like, like sign stealing. Change fuck. the signs. Change oh, yeah. the fucking signs. Or you know, the, the casinos are coming in with the new dice. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, everybody craps out. You're like, that's why you got to bet the don't pass line. You're the worst get person the at the thing, but the you bet the don't pass line. line. Don't, you, you just get Jim look. Irsay and you fucking pump in crowd noise. <laughs> you go change Jim the rules of the game and then you tell everybody else that everybody else is cheating. And then yeah. you wind up passed out on your own bed with blue lips. All right, let's take a break. We come back. Okay. One more story. You ready? Yeah. Uh, Bill Burr's with us. Colts blue lips. <laughs> that's right. Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Saturday blue lips. All right, we'll be right back with more Dumb People Town with Bill Burr right after this. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. All right, gang. Listen, everybody wants to start the year off on the right foot, sure. especially with eating, especially with diet. And for me, that means making sure I'm eating well. I have enough energy. I need the protein. I know you guys are that way yes. too. Love good yes. protein, but baby. I'm not gonna run to the butcher every like week to get this stuff. It Nor is, can you? It's no. a pain. You want good cuts of quality meat, and that's just not gonna happen this time of year. That's why I love that we have this new sponsor. They're amazing. Good chop. It's a lifesaver for me. Fully customizable boxes of high quality meat and, and you get a variety a diversity yeah. of yeah. foods that means you can make different types of dinners for your family and for yourself every night of the week they have high quality cuts 100 percent grass-fed ribeyes usda uh prime filet mignon free range organic chicken breasts yes. uh pork, pork tenderloins, tenderloins thick cut bacon so amazing. here's what i love about it yeah the, maybe you guys are gonna make fun of me for this i'm not gonna make fun of you <laughs> one I of might, the things about I going might. to the grocery store is standing there and going 
what is what is the freshest vegetable here or like am i gonna check all these packages yeah. of uh, chicken breast and find out which is the most recently dated one and then this one's 779 but it looks like it has more fat than the I one trust them right just trust you them, just don't man. have to worry about that with no. Chop. you're getting stuff sent to you at the peak of its freshness yep. ready to go vacuum sealed and it makes things so Dan, easy it's not gonna to cost a fortune either it's good chops best. price per meal starts at just 374 that's the best. unreal they're so confident in the quality of their cuts they offer a 100 percent money back guarantee love good chop or get your money back so what you do is you go to goodchop.com slash dpt120 use the code dpt120 and get 120 dollars off across your first four boxes mm-hmm. that's amazing that code again dpt120 at goodchop.com slash dpt120 for 120 dollars off goodchop.com slash dpt120 and use the code dpt120 this show is sponsored by BetterHelp, and I'm a therapy person. My wife is a therapist. Uh, I've been in. I know Dan has been in his own therapy. So has Randy. You know, it's a great way for you to work on yourself and how you are in relationships with your therapist. It's mm-hmm. At times when I was in therapy, I felt like it was almost like the most self-indulgent thing I could do because mm-hmm. I'm spending time working on myself, understanding where I have problems and issues sure. and trying to get better at it. Or finding them. Even. And finding like, oh my issues. gosh, I guess that was an issue that I didn't even recognize. It's how you become healthy as a human being. And obviously BetterHelp is a great way if people are wanting to dip a toe into these waters and connect with it, they make it very, very accessible to lots of people. If you're thinking about giving it a try and giving BetterHelp a try, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched up with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. They make it easy, Dan. Yeah, they do make it easy. They make it easy for for you to be you and for you to be uh, a better person in all of your relationships. That's right. So become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash dbt today to get 10% off your first month. That's better help h-e-l-p dot com slash dpt stick around make a sound there's more dumb people town hey everybody welcome back to the show bill burr is with us go see his movie on netflix old dads great yes. movie by the way fantastic movie congrats i'm so thank happy you. that did well and thank it, you i'm so happy it came out right before the strike ended so i didn't get any sort of fucking nothing. backblast uh, yeah you <laughs> couldn't promote it no i just got nothing right like, that so, did really good okay what are you doing next it's like wait a second it did but do it well. did do really well so like maybe there, you will get another one like as, as, as rasheed wallace says the ball don't lie right it was a good movie right and rasheed wallace also got un- a ridiculous amount of reputation fouls called on him he in a certain game seven mm-hmm. yes dude the nba is just fucking filled david stern was filthy David Stern, he had one goal in this world, and that was to make the NBA an international game. That's it. And he did. That's all he cared about. And he did. Well, I mean, to make a bunch of fucking money. And to make a bunch of money. Yes. Because that's how you do it. But that was part of that. Uh, Wait, Dan, what do you have going on? Uh, I'll be in D.C. the first weekend in March. You can see me on Friday and Saturday. Then I'll be in Wisconsin and Green Lake in May. My special drops April 17th, Rose Gold. Check that out. We shot it in Chicago, and it was a great time. And my movie Wine Club is out right now. You can watch that wherever you stream stuff that you like Phenomenal, to watch. Phenomenal. Thank you, buddy. Have you guys watched it yet? I have not watched Come it. Come on, you two stream. a-holes. I'm stream it. I don't uh, watch movies. I like how you admitted that you didn't watch it and immediately point to your brother like trying to get it off. Why, why <laughs> he you watch? won't let me. <laughs> I, I've wanted to watch it numerous times and he Well, slapped. don't be like the Sklars. Check out Wine Club. You're going to love it. Go to DanielVanKirk.com. Why are you wearing your fucking peyote shirt today? Why am I peyote shirt? Yeah. Because it's one of our sponsors. He's a dude, man. Dude, one of our sponsors. I'm the dude. Is that what that is? Yes. Fairty. Great clothes. Yeah, clothes so like off good. the record with the cameras on. Yeah. Don't edit this out. I fucking love like the shirt. Love I it. love it. You broke eye contact. You were like twice. I love it. You were like, I fucking love I it. I fucking love it. <laughs> Have you, I love you it. haven't done any Faraday? You'd like it too. It's great. Yeah, stuff's great. Your stuff's great. Alex, you're that. a great dude. It's good. All right. Should we go into this last story? I think yeah. Ted Turner wears that when he rides his horse to the state. <laughs> when they go to his own property. Is he still alive? I don't Ted Turner, that's no a good idea. guess. I'm is gonna he go. still married to Jane Fonda? No. Do you want him to find out? Mm. I'll find out. Look, see if he's yes, still and I'm guessing he's I think he's 87. Dead. I've DM'd 92. Jane Fonda so many times that she just will not get back to me. Why? Age of, age of Ted Turner? Platform? Anybody want to get in on this oh, section? Fucking Jane Fonda's Would you go with? MySpace page. I said 88. For Ted he's Turner. dead. He's definitely 88's dead. my final. Like I remember guess. seeing tributes of like he re- you say oh. 88. Yes, Bill. Ted Turner. I, I also say 88. I think that's of what she is. 
I, no, no, Ted Turner. Ted Turner. Oh, Ted Turner? Yeah. 88. Ted Turner is... No, Alive in 88. Old. I think he's 84. 84? I think he's dead. He's 85 years old. <laughs> Very good. Holy shit, nice dude. work, son. You're honed in, Bill. No, but dude. I wanted somebody to get it right. All right. He's still so, alive. All right. You did. You were close to it. All right. This so last I wonder how what he feels like. Great. Rich. No, just because, like, what, what 24-hour news network have done to this country, which the, basically the job of, of CNN and Fox every morning is to wake up and divide America mm-hmm. over shit that doesn't matter. Right. Yep. So you turn news into opinion. That's your legacy. You yeah, turn. I mean, you well, do, I mean, he, I don't know. I don't, he, I don't think I don't he know. tried to do that. But, but that's what it became. That's where it went. That's the box he opened up was doing that. He was like, oh, I can make money. People watch. There was like. No, I, and it was beyond that. I think it's, it's this idea of the way I see the world is the only way to see the world. So we're basically, you have two people's fucking opinions mm-hmm. and everybody else is a company man underneath. They have all these different fucking people and they're acting like this is a bunch of different viewpoints and it isn't. It's two fucking viewpoints of two super rich people that could give a fuck about you. Right. They have one goal to either keep you angry or scared. Yeah. Well, I, like, I don't like that. I, I don't understand why people sit and watch that shit. I don't either. No it's idea. not even, it's not like they're not even, dude, when Trump won and half of those fucking anchors started like crying and shit, like when I was growing, you didn't know who the, the anchor voted for. No. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were not supposed you to. You sat there stone faced and it was a white guy <laughs> who needed to trim his fucking eyebrows, but he didn't. They were big bushy eyebrows. And he just talking. sat Sam there and he gave it to you yes. straight. Yes. Sam yes. Donaldson. Yes. Shout out to Donaldson. Dude, Sam Donaldson, tell me he, he wasn't the in the run. He didn't go to network to play Spock. He tell was, me he did. <laughs> he definitely did. There's a, no fucking yeah, way he did a pre tape. Spock was not based on that guy's fucking head his head his face it was like flat and shiny and oh just, dude it was beautiful he he, the, he, he was, had to get on tv was to get he married woman. to cokie roberts Where? sam donaldson was married to cokie roberts look that shit up he I'm looked like, like a silent film villain yes he was yeah. like, <laughs> like if you look up his sinister, eyebrows <laughs> yeah <laughs> he had like it. three mustaches <laughs> two of them were eyebrows and they, <laughs> Sam Donaldson. I mean, that guy is like first ballot, like first ballot newscaster <laughs> yeah. Hall of Fame. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, you ready for Wait, this? Wait, no, no, no. Let's keep talking. Okay, who that's who good. was your guy? Dan Rather. Growing up, who did you believe? Dan Rather was. Dan my guy. Rather made sense. To I you. mean, we grew up on Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw. Brokaw. Tom Brokaw. Yeah. I like the. I like Ted Koppel. I was a Ted Koppel yeah? guy. Dude, that fucking Tonight, the I'll sickest hairline so ever. Ted Koppel was. Koppel he had was like great. three heads worth of hair. <laughs> he was fearless. Too. And he would just. Feel. Cobble. Yeah, that's the thing. He was always he always had a scowl. <laughs> and he fucking looked like uh, remember uh, Bill Elliott, the stock car driver. Those two people were the same person in my world. <laughs> Ted Cobble. He always had a furrowed Ted brow. Ted Cobble, and then the other guy who's who's Alfred the stock e. Newman, car racer that everybody Magazine. fucking hated. Who the Dale, stock car? Dale and her. No, no, everybody loved him. But then Michael there was the Waltrip. Other, no, the other guy. Everybody said he was oh, Tony he's, Stewart. He's fucking gay and blah blah blah. Dick Trickle. Him. And he used to win all the time. No, oh, Jeff Gordon. Jeff, Jeff Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, Jeff Gordon. Oh, because he and, wasn't. And George Stephanopoulos was the same person to me. Jeff Gordon. Jeff was, Gordon hated him because he was from no, 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 Chicago. Jeff, who's the country Jeff singer? Wasn't from Chicago. Yes, who's the was. country Danica singer Patrick. who did Nationwide is on your? Uh, Brad Paisley. Thank you. Brad, Brad Paisley. Paisley and, and Jeff, Jeff Gordon, Gordon are the same Gordon. fucking person. Now you're. Oh my god! I got the same person. I heard the Brad Paisley story. I want to hear. I went up. I was doing a benefit. Okay, I didn't know who Brad Paisley was, and there was this guy in there. He came walking, and I saw the guitar case. I go, oh, you playing, you playing guitar tonight? He goes, <laughs> oh God, classic Bill. country one of the guy. Best guitarists. He just goes like, yeah, I might play a little bit, dude. And he just goes up there and just fucking shreds. Yeah, he's an amazing guitar he's player. Amazing. Oh, like dude. unreal dude, guitar so player. In the, okay. It was so fucking cool that he didn't, he didn't have any like, don't you know who the fuck, fuck I, I am? am? He nope. just went up and he just went up and, dude, when I say like, it was like one of the top five live performances, and it was just at a benefit. He fucking murdered. And he's, so, he knew murdered. he loves comedy. He's great to comedy. He's a huge so, yeah, he's friends with Stone Street. So in 2006, when the Cardinals. You gonna go up there with your little ukulele? <laughs> <laughs> you do you think? That was my vibe. Like, I, had no fucking, I had no idea. He knew in about uh, the 40 minutes he was yeah, gonna I might, shut your I might, ass up. I might play I don't, a I, it was beyond that. I don't think he even gave a fuck. He so that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why he doesn't have to. Like, I don't yeah. think at any point he was up there going like, "Now nah, I bet that comic knows who the fuck I am." I don't think no. he just went up and did what he did just and he did left. His thing. Did, did you so, say anything to him after? Did you go, "Holy shit"? 
I don't remember. I if, if, if he, I came in contact with him, there's no fucking way I didn't. Right, there was a lot of geeking out moments because Steve Jordan uh, was my one of my favorite drummers of all time. It was the first time I met him. Well, I met mm -hmm. him one time in the street. I was like, oh my God, Steve Jordan. <laughs> but like, this is the first time we were actually working on the same thing, and mm -hmm. I got to see him play live, which was fucking crazy to me. And he got to see you. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I I, I wish I was the you wish Steve the draw. Jordan of comedians. Yeah. You might uh, be. No, no, he's on a whole other level. So in 2006, we're at the in game three of the before the Cardinals game against Detroit. We're in St. Louis and we're shooting a little thing for this week in baseball. And we're down like right by the field shooting you're a drinking with Sam Donaldson. So we're <laughs> drinking with Sam Donaldson. So we're there with our parents and we're there and both parents. We, our dad, who had never been to a World Series game, we took him to the game that night. So but that day we're there and this guy walks over tall dude with a ponytail and a jean jacket and he's just like looking at the field and he comes over to where we're standing right in the seats and he's like hey man i'm a huge fan of cheap seats i love that show you guys are great i know? love you i, guys. I love I you guys. Guys. I, I, like, I already you. know who this is we're like thank you so much dude, this guy's amazing turn to our parents we're like this Donald fucking Trump. guy this guy and we're like this fucking guy <laughs> we're like look in the, his era we're like the head of the grounds crew like is like a huge fan are you for real yeah, yeah we, we said the head like, of the ground know this guy is he's he looking out on the field we're like the head of the grounds crew that's what i love about the show is that it it connects with people man right the sport our sports connects to everyone one minute later they're like practicing the you know national anthem. national anthem and over the last week they're like multi-platinum recording artist trace atkins yeah. to perform he and that was trace atkins we didn't know, know that is. no we didn't know oh, it was know. either it's a good no story. no my country shit is, talk, is, 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 is awful ours was bad is, too is but we my, thought he was yeah, the grounds good. guy we thought he was the groundskeeper but it was a great moment. It was huge. Fun. He fucking artists. nailed it. Huge. All right, shall we do this story? Yes. You want to? Yes. Shall we jump into it? Yes. All right. Sent in by Dane Couch at Dane Couch. I don't think this guy's sent in a story before. I love Thanks, this. Thanks, Dane. Dane. All right. This is what the woman said. And this is the name of the he thing. He has a special called Vicious Circle. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's so close. Dane Couch. <laughs> Dane Couch. Uh, I am. The this mediocre is... finger. <laughs> <laughs> He's a poor man, Dane Cook. Yeah. Dane Couch. Dane Dane Couch. Couch. He could have made it, but he just couldn't sure, get off the couch. 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 And we'll be right back. All sizzle. All right. I'm. This is what the. <laughs> this is what the uh, headline was. <laughs> I'm a wedding makeup artist and my bride almost walked out on her big day after finding the groom being breastfed by his mother. Wait, wait, what? That's a horrible I am headline. a wedding makeup artist and my bride almost walked almost out on walked her big out. day. Almost. Why the headline out. bride almost walks Walks out, out on her big day seeing, seeing husband breastfeed. Future husband breastfed by his mother. What the fuck? Wedding make a claim. Wait, how old was he? <laughs> he's four. Uh, he's young. He's, arranged on, the edge, he's on the edge, guys. He's on the edge. It's a Fisher Price wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a makeup artist for that. Things are going well. And late, all right, the kids so. make a wish before he died was get married. So. They were doing a show called I Married a Toddler. Right? <laughs> uh, Which you could see on stop TV. Stop acting like a baby. <laughs> Referring to, all right, so the makeup artist, this woman, Georgie Relayed, had this woman another who's guy a professional who wants to stay artist. Young. She had just finished the bride's face and hair when she needed to go use the restroom said the bride walked into the toilet and what she saw was enough to end the wedding but apparently didn't i mean what the hell? well you spent all the money the level Everybody's of embarrassment here. he was like, being breastfed by his mom now the question is why did you do that there why can't is you she do that still at lactating home? how old are these I people i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that her mother-in-law is going to compete with for attention yeah <laughs> you think so yeah i think, think there's so? a little bit of uh <laughs> hey why is the mother-in-law dressed in white? Kind of so milk comes out of her young. breast let's expired say they're milk? he's 22 his mom's let's say she had him even younger at 20 i was having such a good time on this podcast this is until just, this, this happened is just this is insane i mean i handle the guy getting his fucking arm, <laughs> arm chopped off you champion that and the guy. lecture, <laughs> and the lecture, the f the lecture, the lecture afterward. from that guy about yeah. how to treat alligators. Stop throwing rocks. <laughs> so again, why do we think the? I don't know. Why do? You, why would the mom? Why would you still be doing this and then be doing it there up. on site? Well, this can't is, you get your milk at home before you get there? Yeah, and bottle like, some for the day. Yeah, like can't she pump and dump in some sort of a way? <laughs> not to mention it's not even pasteurized. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> it's oat milk. <laughs> Everyone in the room is waiting, but you definitely... She didn't want to kiss the groom. That's the other thing. Uh, I, this oh, marriage is doomed. Ooh. This marriage is doomed from the beginning. 
There's but like no. Dan, you said Did at least you found a, a soft spot. In <laughs> <laughs> Fontanelle. Maybe he had an arrested development. <laughs> I mean, it's and people are saying, look, I took Mummy's Boy to a whole new level. Can we just guess the state? Does it say the state? I think, I think this England. happened in England. I think it's England. It, it happened in England. Boy. It's just come no on. wonder their teeth are crooked. That's right. <laughs> because they're still sucking on you the suck titties. The titties That's are all the way back. You need to wear your thing. retainer. Would you? Guys, <laughs> blokes, if you're still, if you're still fucking. If you're still having. If you're still breasting. It's a short story. That was Would you call it off? I think Would you, you call off the wedding? If you of walked in and you saw the person you're marrying breastfeeding their mom, you're well, you're, you're 24, they're 22, yes. your kids, whatever. You got to walk out and just be like, it's over. And when they gas, just be like, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to know. If we want to know. And they're going to be like, and it, it wasn't cheating. Kind of was. Yeah. <laughs> kind of was. Kind of was. Kinda I caught was. my I caught my future husband breastfeeding going to second base with, with his, his mom, mother. <laughs> and half the crowd is like we knew, and then the other half is yeah, like yeah oh, yeah. How great. many people knew? I'm oh sure half the people. Oh, she's yeah, she does that with everybody. I'd still do the open bar, but the whole ceremony's <laughs> yeah. off. I mean, you still have the party and the open bar. <laughs> yeah, and the band. you need a drink. <laughs> so wait a, a second. So she she walks in. And this is like fast times at Ridgemont High. It's like, like, like when oh, she walks in Oh, doesn't anybody fucking knock anymore? Yeah. 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 yeah, doesn't anybody fucking so knock? So they, they know that she walked in. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. You have to know. You have, have to, to know. know. They have to know. I don't know. I don't know how big the room is. Does he get a couple more spots in before he goes out and, and says, I got to deal with this? I mean, is he finished? I mean, hey, something what borrowed. Does he, something, he was just like, what do I do now, mom? <laughs> <laughs> Go out there and fix it, but just finish this one off because it's a little bigger. Something borrowed. That was his thing. Something. <laughs> Wait. Oh, wait a minute. How is she still producing? <laughs> That's, That's what, what I said. If you, can, you said that. Okay. If if she's, you, if, let's say he's 22. She had him at 20, so she's 42 years old. But if, if you she keep can breastfeeding, if you keep breastfeeding, this is will, how it will, some women can breastfeed. some late in life, you got us. Are, are they are they that broke? <laughs> I mean, hey yeah. y'all, you know you broke when you still fucking <laughs> breastfeeding at fucking 22. Mom, I just poured I'm some Cheerios. I'm gonna run to the store and get some milk. No, no. need, no need. Cut I just poured the... some if Cheerios. If you breastfeed at 24, <laughs> you might be a redneck. It's the same guy. <laughs> it's all the same fucking. Uh, He's taking on this cause now. Oh god. Cut to a doctor making a TikTok, being like, "Please stop breastfeeding stop late in life." It's actually and no, the not guy beneficial. after he gets off the breast is like, "And this is why you shouldn't breastfeed." Yeah. From your mother, uh, you start lecturing. You guys know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you, know who you, are. <laughs> yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> got cookies. Eat a cookie. <laughs> All right. What go. are the What that's are the it. off? That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's the last it. thing. That's that's gonna, I'm walking away on that. You're yes. driving home that. by myself with that fucking story <laughs> on my of mind. That, that story. image in your brain. Take that with you through the rest of the day. And that's Don't throw rocks at gators. Don't throw rocks at doing the show. Don't throw rocks at gators. They're so used to it. The point. I bet they both were on their iPhone when he was doing it. Yeah, just They're bored with it. Bored. <laughs> He's going through junkie. Yeah, she's literally like, fine, here, real quick. Real quick. Going, I just honey, gotta... honey, look. look. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having a laugh? That's what she said. She walked out and she went ahead with it. She went ahead with it. She's like, well, I'm Well, not listen, gonna... if Princess Di could marry Prince Charles. Yeah. Right. right. It's like... That's top five ugliest guys I've ever seen in my life. Like, he I'm was pedophile. never good looking. Top mm-hmm. five ugliest guys and interested in his cousin. And yeah. now married to his cousin. Sure. Like, just straight he looks up. looks like one of the puppets in the Phil Collins video. Yeah. Yes. But all the time. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, you can't even argue that. No. no. And she, she was, was gorgeous. Beautiful. beautiful. She was gorgeous, and she was cool, and she fucking dressed cool. God damn. Oh, What's, I wanted you to keep going. I just, you know, <laughs> she had great she was legs. A freak. And I had all her pictures <laughs> on my wall. She was a freak in the sheets. And she was a I lady all, in the streets. I learned all the words <laughs> to the British National Anthem. <laughs> I got my hair You went somewhere her. there for I a second. I loved her haircut. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never seen your eyes smile like that. That was that amazing. Went. I mean, she was a beautiful woman. Hey, can you I got say? great taste. Rest in peace. I love her. She stole Dorothy Hamill's haircut, but That's fine. Who stole it from Peggy Fleming? Who stole it from Shirley Feeney? Not Peggy Fleming had the fucking long hair. That's right. She did have long who, hair. Yeah. Dor- who was Susie Chapstick? <laughs> oh, you guys lost me. You we're lost so me far gone. Uh, All right, that's show little. you guys. Is that a MySpace celebrity? I don't <laughs> Susie Chapstick? She was a skier. It was Tila Tequila versus Susie Chapstick. <laughs> Tila Tequila. Tila Tequila. No one said that in name in that 10 is a years. Dude, I don't they be... should do a show. Where are they now? <laughs> she hasn't even said it. She's dead. I get, she's dead. Tila she's Tequila dead. is. She's got to be dead. She's definitely gone no. swimming in a I think she's dead. Should I look and see if she's dead? Is Tila Tequila dead? 
So if I'm going to say, let me just say this. Dead. I will walk out of here if Ted Turner is alive and Taylor Tequila is dead. If that is it, I will get up and walk out. Listen, you can just say you want to beat the traffic. That's right. I, want I, to... I get it. She's Tila still alive. Tequila. I just want to get in my car and think about Lady Di. She's what is alive, so wrong how, about that? How old is Tila? <laughs> we can end on this to get away from How the old is Tila? 26. <laughs> First started posting bikini shots as an eight-year-old. Just tatted I'm gonna up bikini Tila Tequila. Shots. I'm going to go. She's 41 years old. Dance is 41. I think she's 53. What are you 39. 39. One of you is one year off. No. You can okay, go so up, we can all go up upper. Down down 52. What? 52. 40. 40. That's, I'm going to go 42. <laughs> 42? No, I'm 40? saying as well. 40 I'm as also well. Gonna, I'm going to go down. He's going to go up. Dan, it. I wish you would have said 42 because she's 42. 42 years. Oh, oh, Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Jackie Robinson. She broke many barriers. May just like she that. rest ah. in peace. May she, all right. Die, go see the Sklars. Come see me. Watch my movie. Go April 17th. Go, go see, see Old Bill. Dads and go yeah. see Bill. Uh, He's going back on tour. We love you guys. And no shit. We got to get back to work. Stick around, make a sound, there's more Don't People Town.